my granddaughter comes in the house running, scared to death, five years old. And she's just red in the face, crying. She thinks her mom's going to jail. That was the terrifying moments inside Tina Stanton's living room Sunday night. Her granddaughter's mom and aunt had been confronted by a man claiming to be a police officer outside this laundromat. He told them down there that they should come go with him. You know, he could get them to safety. He called them names. He was flashing his car lights, honking his horn, trying to get the two women in his car. Stanton says the man was telling them he was an officer from Indiana and showed something that they thought was a badge. He followed them all the way from the laundromat up to here. Both of them. Stan quickly called 911, but sheriff's deputies couldn't find him. She then turned to social media to alert the community about the strange behavior. This don't go on here. This is a small town, good community. This don't happen. Then less than a day later, another suspicious call. The individual had stuck his tongue out at a 12 year old girl, uh, you know, exhibiting some more creepy and bizarre behavior. Bracken County Sheriff Robert Booty says neighbors had confronted the man. They were keeping him in the neighborhood until a sheriff's deputy could arrive. Investigators say the man behind all of this is Kevin Latrenta. The sheriff's deputy responding to that call encountered Latrenta yelling at him to stop. He didn't, leading police on a chase in his car, weaving through traffic at speeds of around 80 miles an hour and ended up crashing at this guardrail right here. My phone went off all day yesterday with the community telling me they saw him flying out of town. Latrenta crashed his white Ford Bronco. The Indianapolis man has no ties to the area and is not a member of law enforcement. The sheriff credits neighbors with playing a big role in slowing down Latrenta and helping get him off the streets. It is very concerning and it's something we take very seriously here in this community. In Brooksville, Kentucky, Tyler Madden, Local 12 News. Latrenta is being held in the Mason County Detention Center. He faces charges including stalking, impersonating a peace officer, reckless driving, and a number of traffic violations. Thanks for checking out the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links and tap subscribe to get notified anytime we post.